Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's Ronnie here at RC Bassin. And today we're going to talk about an easy, cheap, do-it-yourself solution to put some LED lights in your boat. Hey, if you're looking for an easy and simple do-it-yourself solution to get some LED lights installed in your boat, this video is probably right down your alley. What I'm going to show you is easy as peel it, lick it, and stick it, baby. Let's head out to the boat shed and go. Okay, gang, we're back out here underneath the boat shed. And as I said before, we're going to take a look at the LED lighting solution that I put on my Bass Tracker Classic XL. Um, you can already see some of the, the LED lights down there underneath the seat that I put on. I was looking for a cheap, you know, solution uh, that would allow me to put some, some nice soft LED lights on the boat with some, some different color options um, so that on those early mornings or those late evenings, you know, I could see inside the boat if I needed to turn the light on. Uh, without blinding myself or my, my co-angler and then also just to give me some light inside the boat so I could kind of see you know what the heck I was doing and I looked around you know for a couple of days and I ran across some of these solutions on Amazon I'm a big Amazon shopper and I'm always looking for a, a, a budget deal and I found these LED strip lights one right here that I ran inside the the gunnel rail um, and they go all the way up to the front here up to where my rod straps are and they're self-adhesive they've got some 3m tape on them they run all the way back uh, back past the seat um, for the passenger seat and i put them on in the same place on the other side now the cool thing about these lights and this lighting solution let me move my net out of the way is they're battery operated right so you've just got a little battery box here you got an on and off switch on the back of it. it takes three AA batteries of course I've got the batteries out right now because I've got the boat uh, covered up for the winter and just uncovered it to show you guys this stuff and there's a pretty heavy-duty plug here where your battery box plugs in and then it just plugs into your light strip here on the end there's a little plug and I just took the wires back in here to kind of keep them out of the way and then um, I have a remote for the lights over on the other side there by my um, gear shift and my kill switch and uh, I've got two remotes over there one's for the for the LED lights on the inside of the rail and then I have another one for the lights that I mounted down here underneath the seat I've got one on the passenger seat and the driver's seat they're made like a little honeycomb um, and they're pretty bright and then I've got one that I put on the back seat and the front seat if you can see it here let me see if I can get my fingers out of the way so you can take a look up underneath there we lift this up and so you can see where it sits right on the uh, underside of the seat now there was some holes already molded there and inside the housing of the light behind the batteries I just put a little self tapping screw through there and screwed it right to the bottom of the seat and then I just screwed the, the cover on. So let me see if I can take the cover off and show you guys. Hold on a second here. Let me kind of prop my phone up. So the light just unscrews. Here's where you put your, your batteries in. And this, these are triple A's, I believe. And then up underneath the light the seat there you can see where I put the screw through the back of the light and just screwed it to the bottom of the seat so what that does and they're also they have a magnet inside of them so if you're you know adhesing them to metal you can actually uh, let them stick to the to the outside of the boat and they will stick I've actually seen guys take these and put them on the back of their transom so that they've got some light underwater these are uh, supposed to be waterproof and submergible However, I have not tried that, but they do have, I don't know if you can see it around there, there's a little kind of a white plastic seal that's supposed to keep the water out if you do submerge them. But they are supposed to be submergible, and again, I've never had any issues out of them. Let me see if I can get this screwed back on there with one hand. I'll try it again here in a second. But at any rate, that's where those lights are. And then, again, like I said, I've got them down here at the passenger seat and the driver's seat. 
Now what I did, let me see if I can get in here and show you this. Of course, I got a bunch of crap in here. But I kind of did the same thing. I took the, uh, the light apart and I tapped a little screw through there and I drilled a little hoe. You can kind of see it there. It's shining a little bit. Not much light underneath the seat. But I just had a little short screw I put through there so that there wasn't a whole lot sticking out. Put a nut on it and I put a little dab of Loctite, right? Just to kind of keep it from coming loose and spinning free when I'm trying to take the cover off the light. And that held it on just fine. Now these things, you know, you can, you can make them all kinds of different colors. Let me see if I can zoom in here without going to the other side of the boat. It's cold out here, man. I'm ready to get inside. But, um, there's the remotes. Like I said, I just put some um, 3M Velcro on the back of them and kind of stuck them over there on the warning placard so I'd have them handy. They run off of like a, I think it's a 3023 or 2032 lithium round battery. So again, not, not anything very uh, high tech at all, uh, but a very economical solution, easy to put on. You know, and if you take these off, um, that 3M tape, you can just use some Goo Gone or something and rub that uh, adhesive off the rail of your boat and then you can put something else on. So I've had these on here now for about, again, two seasons. Work great. I've not had any issues out of them. Um, if I am going to go out and fish in the rain, I will take the little battery box and stick it inside of a Ziploc bag just to kind of keep the, the water out because those are not watertight. But they are made for indoor, outdoor use. And again, not had any issues with them coming off. Not had any issues with them burning out, but if they do, I can definitely pull them off and just put another set on. The great thing about this solution is I'm not wiring into my boat harness, right? Um, I'm just, I'm not that keen about cutting into my wiring harness or splicing into it, especially while my boat's still under warranty. And again, it's just not that big a deal if they burn out or something goes wrong with them. I can just pull them off and put another cheap set on. Okay, so let's get back inside where it's a little bit warmer. All right, now let's talk about where we can find these products from our good friends at Amazon Prime. Now you'll see these lights are pretty inexpensive and you can get them in a one, two, three, or four pack. And they're, they're pretty cheap. Again, like I said, about 28 bucks if you get the four pack. And if you've got Amazon Prime, they ship pretty quick. If you're just going to use the two that mount on the bottom of the seats to put light in the floorboard, then you'll only need a two pack. But if you're going to mount them on the bottom of the seats for the driver and the passenger, and then you're going to mount them underneath the seat on the bow and on the back. You'll need the four pack. Okay, now let's talk about the lights down the side rails on the inside of your boat. So you're going to need a two pack for that. And that's going to run you about another 30 bucks to get the two, two sets of strips that go down each side. Now they'll work off of the same remote. So you don't have to worry about having more than one remote to run those strips down the side of the boat, but the remotes will not cross between the strip lights and the lights that you mount underneath the seats. That's one drawback, but no big deal. Two, two little remotes are not that big of an issue to keep up with, especially when you mount them on the side over there by your uh, throttle with your 3M Velcro. So these lights look amazing after they're installed. So let's take a quick look. Now you can change the color on these lights. There's about 12 different color selections between the rail lights and the lights underneath the seat, and you can match them up exactly. So don't be afraid to play around with the different colors. Look for the ones that you like, the ones that, that give the best illumination to your boat at night or in those low light conditions. And then they really look expensive, like you've really had a custom job installed, completed on your boat. And when it's all said and done, you're in the, into this less than 70 bucks, probably right around the 60 to $65 range with tax and shipping. Um, I get free shipping because I have Amazon Prime, but it takes about 15 to 30 minutes to install those lights. And that's just depending on where you want to put them and how you want to keep them to your boat. All right, that about wraps it up for the LED light install on my 2020 Bass Tracker Classic XL. Make sure you take a look at the videos on the channel. There's a lot of great content out there. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna leave a link to my playlist where I talk about all the different modifications and the walkthrough of my 2020 Tracker Classic XL, so make sure you check that out. Also, in the month of January of 2022, we're doing a fishing reel giveaway, so make sure you check that out. Subscribe to the channel and leave a comment so that you're eligible to win that fishing reel. 
All right, until we get to talk again, stay safe out on the water, tight lines, and hook them up.